<laughs> Welcome to Chronic TV. Welcome back to Chronic TV. I'm sure you've already tuned in before. Um, we're here with the rising star of our generation, Lewis Pullman. Lewis, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. So your your movie, The Battle of Lefty Brown, premiered last night Yeah. at the Stateside Theater just around the corner here. Yes. Um, is this your first time here in Texas? Second time. Second time. How do you like it? I love it. You I'm like Austin? Huge fan. Yep. Yeah. So have you uh, seen the city at all? or? I've been around. Yeah, my, my buddy from college actually lives here. And so okay. whenever I'm here, I, I'm just stoked to get to hang with him. Yeah, he shows me around. Get the place. insider. <laughs> the insider look. Inside access. Great. Yeah. And so, yeah, Lefty Brown. Yeah. A lot of fun. So much fun. Oh, my gosh. Really was, fun movie. Yeah. Um, seeing you ride up on that horse in the beginning. That's my friend. <laughs> Very exciting. Very exciting. That was really me galloping, galloping yeah. away. So let's talk. Let's start there. Okay. Yeah. You rode a horse for this movie. I did, yeah. You grew up on a, on a ranch, so you knew how to ride horses. Yes, I already didn't, knew how to. Was there any yeah. actor in the movie that was unfamiliar riding horses? There was a couple. There's, If you look close enough, there's a couple stunt Stunt-ish. riders, okay. especially when they're galloping away. You know, they're going full speed. Okay. That, that's a, a pretty... You know, treacherous mountains. And for a small indie film, I imagine you got to dedicate a big bulk of budget to horse wrangling, Definitely. horse training. There's a huge crew of really cool professionals on there, and like a lot of people were just like, a lot of the other ranch hands were real ranch hands. Okay. Because he had they they were actually What's like this Hollywood bull crap. I know. Like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then so, when were, were there any incidents? On set of the horses, anyone go a little wild? I think there was one incident, yes, where they, they, the, the, um, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be talking about this, but it, it was basically the, the horse went too close to, and hit the steady cam operator. Oh, wow. Because Everyone it, okay? Everyone's okay, yeah. Okay. But it was, it was a, a little like, whoa. whoa. Not so steady anymore, huh? Oh, very good, very good. Um, what was it like working with your dad? Amazing. Yeah? I mean, yeah, I've, I, I look... And I have an unbiased and very biased view of my dad, and I'm a huge fan, yeah. as, as well as a huge fan of him as a, a dad. <laughs> and um, it was pretty incredible to see yeah. how he works. And, and like, this was, you know, he was, like, the he's the real lead. He's, mm -hmm. like, the, you know, this was his... It's Lefty Brown. He's Lefty Brown. It's Lefty Brown. And so uh, to see him kind of, like, transform into this wild, crotchety, <laughs> but sweet... Man, um, it was was pretty in, insane. Is he watch. is he a method sort of guy? Was he like where's my dad? It's <laughs> at some point he bleeds. It, it's like yeah. it's like this weird. It's like watching him be possessed at times. Like you're talking to him, then he's like <clears throat> all of a sudden like I'm talking like this. I'm like spitting all yeah. bad you. Well, he's great in that. I I can see where you get all of your refined acting skills. Oh, thank you. Buddy. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, as I was say. <laughs> And so let's, yeah, let's talk, when did you get into acting? I know you've probably already <coughs> always been around that scene. Yeah, <clears throat> um, I wasn't, I wasn't always, you know, I, pl I played drums like you. Mm -hmm. um, Man and, of many talents. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, and uh, so I wasn't always sure that that was what I wanted to do, but around, I started doing some theater in high school, late, late in high school, and then all throughout uh college I was doing theater and then doing shorts whenever I'd come home from breaks mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and I went to a really small school so it was a really small theater program so I had really good one-on-one -on -one with a okay. teacher what was, cool. what was your favorite play in college you know weirdly enough well I, I really liked doing um, Pygmalion okay um, but also I did nine to five. Oh wow I have my, no my own number called uh, let love grow you sung I sung dude that's amazing yeah you want to give us a little taste? No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I believe it's on YouTube. Yeah, let's get the sound adjusted. And uh, three, two, one. No. Um, okay, so then you graduate college. Yeah. Uh, with a degree in social work, you said. Yes. And then you decided to give acting a go? Yeah, well, I had gotten... Um, I had gotten... Uh, request to do a self-tape for this pilot, um, and um, then I ended up just right out of college, I went and did, I, I got, did the pilot, and then, so then I was like, oh my gosh, this is, um, this is happening, and so I um, kind of was like, I gotta, I, this is too fun to yeah. not do, <laughs> yeah. and, and um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing since. So you got requested to do Heiston? By, it was through, um, through the parents of my friend. Okay, so. And so for Netflix. those that don't know, Heiston is an Amazon was an Amazon pilot. Amazon pilot. You want to explain the plot of that a little? Yes, bit? it is about and 
Are you looking? Yeah, where are you looking? I'm, I'm looking at you. Okay, cool. Can't take my eyes off. Of yeah. <laughs> um, Amazon is like a uh, company that's very big. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they do many things. They do many. Um, so it's a pilot about a kid who has imaginary friends who are celebrities, and in the pilot, he uh, has Shaquille O'Neal and Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. And they were actually there. They're right? actually there, but he can see them. No one else can mm -hmm. see them. Was it? What was it like working with Shaq? He is a very cool man. Really? He's a very funny man and a very yeah. sweet man. What about Flea? Um, he is a very, very funny man and a very sweet man energetic. as well. <laughs> <laughs> energetic, I imagine. He's really energetic. He reminds me of like, like one of the, I don't know, like one of the Marx Brothers or something. Like okay. he is just like really witty yeah. and like has kind of like um, slapstick humor, but then is also very kind of focused, focused yeah. and very, um, very, very smart. Cool. Uh, well, that seems like a fun, a fun day on set. It was a fun little week. Yeah. I think it was just a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you got a bunch of projects in the pipeline. I sure do. Yeah, the Keystone. Which <laughs> we're not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the Andrew High movie. Yes. So Andrew High made a movie called Forty Five Years. Just came out on Criterion, I believe, this past week or something. Yeah. So he's a a hot name in the indie world these days. Yeah. And you're on his next feature. Yes, called Lean on Pete. And what's that about? That is about a kid who, um, it, it's about a kid who kind of has his, uh, is abandoned by his, his folks, and um, and then kind of starts this life with um, this horse uh, trainer. Okay. And Are you ever gonna do a non-horse movie? You think? I don't or think that so. Kind of that's just kind your of spot? Yeah, that's, that's in my rider. You know. <laughs> No pun intended. Um, okay, so, and are you the boy? Like, it's a band? No, no. Okay. I am, I play a, a military vet who he, uh, okay. he comes, so it's like, almost like kind of two movies, because the first movie, the, the, fir the first part of the movie is him kind of uh, getting into this world of, of horse racing, and then it's him running away with this horse and going across country, and then he meets all these kind of like archetypal characters along mm -hmm. the way, very American um, archetypes. And um, one of which, uh, two of which, is me and this this other guy who are uh, uh, just got uh, deployed from Iraq. Oh, okay. And oh, so it's modern, job. modern, modern. It's okay. not. It's a, yeah. It's like a modern western. Cool. It's, it's not even really a western, but it's horses. We'll get back to westerns in a yeah, minute. Okay. Actually, but um, I did want to ask. Yeah. I've, I've read it in the trade papers that you did some uh, training to get into military shape. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Is that so? I did some solo. Uh, you know, like. Prison type workout. Let me say it shows. Yeah. Let me be the first to say it shows. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but so yeah, what was that workout like? Um, are you serious? People may want to know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's an interesting question. Um, I was just doing a lot of um, not a, not much cardio uh -huh. and a lot of who needs of, it? I don't who need needs it? Yeah. Just trying to build some weight mm -hmm. and doing a lot of just uh, dumbbell work nice. alone. Very I didn't. Cool. Do, I don't really do gym. Okay. Tune in for next week's gym podcast. Yeah, it's gonna be big. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back to the western. Yeah. Are you were you a big fan of westerns growing up? Huge fan. Me and my brother were always watching so okay. many. What's westerns. your favorite? You got a favorite? I mean, um, oh my god, jeez. I mean, aside from the Battle of Lefty Brown. Yeah, that's got to be up there. <laughs> um, probably like, <laughs> oh maybe. Stagecoach. I mean, it's just yeah. too classic. It's mm -hmm. just I got it. This. Yeah, so, what, what was it like getting to be in a western? It was pretty phenomenal. I mean, the ride up. I, that was pretty, <laughs> very cool. I want to explain your first scene a little bit. Yeah, my first my first scene is um, there. I'm delivering a piece of uh, bad news. I won't give away too much, <laughs> um, but I I ride up. I gallop up on the horse, and it's a pretty classic ride up. Just very, just as classic. Did you western rehearse horses. that? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, a bunch of times. Were you nervous shooting on film? Like, if you know? I'd you... shot um, a short film with my friend okay, okay. on film. So, a good practice? A good practice. A good but it's always experience. Yeah, yeah. I, it's cool. It's kind of closer to theater because it's like you don't have as many takes. Mm -hmm. You kind of have one audio. It's not, you know, two cameras. So, it's like you know exactly where you're going to be seen, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and so, it's. It, it, I, th I think it's much much more fun and you're kind of more thoughtful I, I think you have to be more kind of concise and vigilant about yeah. It. yeah yeah it's, it seems kind of intense and definitely yeah if, it, if you're not prepared it raises the you stakes. can really throw a wrench in the whole operation definitely yeah yeah, yeah um, exactly. and I love how one of the last moments in the movie is you speaking 
to your dad. Yes, that seemed kind of special. It was pretty a special, special moment that you won't forget. Yeah, exactly. It was. It was pretty. I mean, he doesn't really ever speak back to me. That's okay. And I'm kind of. Uh, he kind of dismisses me, which really hurt. <laughs> um, but um, no, it was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool tracking shot as well. Mm -hmm. Like, go pu pushing out of this crowd, and it's like. It was that was like one scene where I was like, oh, my, I'm like in a period movie yeah. right now, where it's just like a huge crowd of people that all in Western garbs, and there's a, I can't say too much. But. Yeah, was that the biggest set you've worked on? No, I did uh, a movie called um, Battle of the Sexes about this time last year. That's coming out this summer. Okay, and what's that about? That is about Billy Jean King and Bobby Riggs, oh, okay. the famous the tennis, tennis match. And who directed that? That is the same directors who did. Uh, the pilot, uh, okay. Tyson, this is Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Fair. Very exciting. That yep. movie's been getting some buzz. Yeah, so. it's going to be cool. I think exciting. it's going to be fun. Who do you play in that? I play uh, Larry Riggs. I play Steve Carell's son. Oh, what was it like working with Steve Carell? Very awesome. I mean, he is a very, in this particular situation, he was very focused, and it wasn't it wasn't really a comedic role. Mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, it's pretty dramatic, and he's he was he was really zoning in, and so, uh, but he's he was. It was pretty cool to work with. It was at first, you know, first scene, first like action. I was like, this is it. I'm like, I think like probably didn't use that take because I was probably like maybe zoned out, blacked out, fully blacked out. Oh, yeah. um, but uh, it was pretty cool, pretty cool experience. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you for having and, me. You know, it's uh, always great catching up. Yeah, I uh, love to see you in this yeah. position. You got any here. questions on the live? No questions. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I guess it's such a thorough interview. No so, questions left to ask. I love that. I'd say. All right. So, thank you so much. Thank you so Everyone much. Everyone go having check me. out The Battle of Lefty Brown when it'll be available. I'm sure it'll be on streaming services and hopefully in theaters soon. Definitely. Great movie. Great Western. And yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Great.